हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल होम टेस्टिक बे रिजवाना आई एम श्योर मोस्ट ऑफ यू ऑल्सो लाइक शाइनी स्पार्कलिंग थिंग्स लाइक मी सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू एड दैट ब्लिंग इन योर होम डेकर बाय री यूजिंग सम वेस्ट प्रोडक्ट्स दैट वी यूज इन आर डे टू डे लाइफ एंड इन अ वेरी लेस बजट ऑफ कोर्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड नाउ सो फॉर द फर्स्ट डी आई वाई आई एम यूजिंग प्रोटीन एक्स कैंस यू कैन यूज एनी कैंस ऑफ सिमिलर काइंड and to paint these cans i am using enamel paint this enamel paint will cost you 30 to 40 rupees that's it but it looks good once it is dried completely but you need to leave enamel paint at least overnight to get that dried up completely similarly i have painted the other can also with a black enamel paint and i have put that to dry overnight now it's completely dried up the next day I'll be using these two cans as tea and sugar containers. So I'm writing that on the can using the Fevicryl 3D outliner, which is just 25 rupees. It's a glitter outliner actually. To give more sparkling effect, I'll sprinkle some glitter powder on top of this. Make sure to put the paper underneath this so that the extra dusted of glitter powder can be stored again. Using the brush, I am wiping out the extra glitter powder here. Once it is completely dried, then we can wipe it off with any wipe or cloth. Now let's paint the lids also with the silver metallic paint to match with the design on the cans. I first used metallic paint on the lid but it didn't give that uh, pigmented look. Later I had corrected it by applying acrylic gesso on top of the lid and then applied the metallic paint on that lid. Then it looked good. While the lids are getting dried up, let's apply varnish on the cans. As a final step always make sure to apply varnish on any kind of painting so that it protects the painting or design here to seal the glitter i have applied varnish and while the varnish is getting dried up i am painting the lids again with the silver metallic paint And here are my tea sugar containers ready. I really love this. If you want to buy any tea sugar containers on any website or any shop, it will cost you at least 4 or 500 rupees. And also having special tea sugar containers makes your kitchen look more beautiful. So by reusing some of the waste products, we can make these kind of tea sugar containers by ourselves and beautify our kitchen. And moving on to our next DIY, I had this waste Pringle scan, and I thought of making a flower vase out of it. So let's get started. First, I am applying here acrylic gesso on top of the scan. When you apply gesso, it works as a primer to prepare any kind of surface ready for painting. Now I'll be making a light pink color with acrylic paints and paint it on the can. and that's the exact shade that i wanted now i'll just dab this paint using the sponge on the scan first coating is done but still i was not satisfied so i again gave a second coating on this painting is done and completely dried now let's make some design on this Here I am going to make some horizontal bars so that I can add some glitter on top of these bars using Fevicol. Just sprinkle some glitter powder on this Fevicol. Repeat the same process for other horizontal bars also.
Now let's dust off the extra glitter powder and remove the plaster. As a final step, applying varnish on this to seal the glitter. And let this dry for some time. Once the varnish is completely dried, it looks glossy, don't worry. Now it's ready to use as a flower vase on your bedside table or on your dining table. Now moving on to our third DIY which is very very simple. Here I am using a trimmer box. You can use any phone box or any box of this type. As this is already in black color, I am just painting with one more coating of black acrylic paint to make it more intense black. Painting is completed and it's also dried up. Now let's make a design on this. Here I'll be writing as believe on this box because you might have uh, seen these kind of storage boxes on Amazon or any other websites. We are getting these kind of storage boxes like believe, girl boss, any quotation that you uh, like most. You can write it on that. And to add more sparkling effect, I had sprinkled some gold glitter powder on top of this. And once it is completely dried, we can wipe off the extra glitter powder. And as you can see there is some extra glitter that got stuck to the paint on the box so I am just making the outline with the help of the black acrylic paint with a small brush. And now it's looking perfect right? Now let's add varnish to this to protect the design. Now our varnish is also dried and this is how it's looking. You can see that no glitter is coming off now. It got sealed perfectly. And that's how we can use it as an organizer on our desk or dressing table. So these were the three simple DIYs that I wanted to show you today. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section. And if you have really liked this video, please, please press the like button. And also subscribe to my channel as I'll be coming up with most affordable and realistic home decor videos. So let's meet in the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.